welcome to Kids Quest from the Chattanooga Public Library with Olga and Shelly. We'll have so much fun with science, games, crafts, and more. Each week, there will be a special project or activity. So get ready to be curious. Hi, I'm Olga, and today we're curious about tools. Out in nature, we can see many living things, like animals and plants. But did you know that there are living things so small that we can't see them with the naked eye? These are microorganisms, and in order to see them, we need a special tool called a microscope. Microscopes are like super powerful glasses that help us to see even the tiniest organisms. Let's get our microscope ready to take a look at various items. We'll first put on the slide. We'll hold it securely with the clamps. Next, we'll choose our objective. Always start with the lowest magnification first. Then focus. We'll turn on the light and we'll be ready to take a look. You'll never guess what we saw. This is a tiny slice of apple. Doesn't it look like flowers? This is a drop of pond water. Do you notice all the tiny microorganisms? Here's a picture of different types of microorganisms that you may find in pond water. Take a good look. You'll want to remember some of the shapes for when we do our challenge today. Now, let's see if you can guess the items that we put under the microscope. Can you guess what this is? It is a close-up of a leaf. What do you think this is? It's dryer lint. Did you notice the little pieces of colored fabric? Do you think this looks like diamonds? Me too, but it's actually just table sugar. Can you guess what this is? This is sand. Sand is actually made up of tiny pieces of rocks, corals, shells, and even microorganisms. Could this be colored mud? Believe it or not, this is actually sidewalk chalk. Are you able to guess what this is? Yes, this is hair under the microscope. And lastly, can you guess these two pictures? It's blue Velcro. Notice the left side has large hooks and the right side has thin loops. The hooks hold onto the loops and that's how Velcro sticks together. And now your challenge for today, making surprise creatures. Think back to some of the microorganisms you saw before and get ready to create your own. These are some that I created. Surprise! They can be scary or friendly, any shape you want. This is a very simple one. I just made it out of a circle. Anyone can do it. You don't have to be a good artist. You'll start with a piece of paper and we're gonna fold it in half. Please fold it towards you so that the fold ends up away from you like this next you're going to take the top flap and fold it up towards the original fold be very careful with the folding so that your creature turns out just right your paper will look like this now you're ready to draw your picture. Get a pencil in case you make a mistake. I'm gonna demonstrate with a marker so you can see better. You can outline your picture with a marker once you're all done. Start with any shape you want. It can be as simple as a circle or a triangle, a square. I'm making a star this time. 
After you draw your shape, you want to start with the mouth. Draw the top part of the mouth on the top side of the fold and the bottom on the other side of the fold. Next, you can begin to add your eyes, nose, antenna, anything else you think your microorganism might need. Next, you'll open your picture, and this is the open view of the mouth. So you want to make a line from the top part of the mouth to the bottom all the way on both sides. Then you get to be creative. Do you want your creature to be scary and draw sharp, scary teeth? Do you want it to be friendly? You can draw a tongue, a creature inside the mouth. Then you want to complete the body. You can add arms flagella, spots, anything you want to complete your creature. And then color it, fold, sweet, scary. It's all up to you. Thanks for joining us.